By this time on Saturday, ISRO's Aditya L1 solar probe will be in lower Earth orbit, preparing for its four-month journey towards the sun, and we couldn't be more excited. I'm not going to get into the obvious of why humans need to study the sun, the star at the center of our solar system that is the singular reason for the only life we currently know to exist in the known universe. And everyone knows why and how the sun has dominated cultures for millennia. What I did want to share with you, however, is a slightly morbid but utterly fascinating aspect of the sun. It is the sole reason why we thrive on this blue planet of ours, but as we obsess with our very terrestrial problems and the issues that divide us, as we ponder the infinite nature of life and the universe, I wanted to tell you or remind you that the sun will also be our end. Let's assume for a moment that humanity is able to save itself from obliteration and survive longer than this blink of an eye slice of time we have enjoyed thus far on the gigantic timeline since the origin of our beautiful earth. If we miraculously survive and continue to flourish, then it will be the sun that brings humanity and all life on earth to an end. It's one of universe's great ironies, but there's also comfort in how the life-giving sun is irreversibly programmed to finally bring our existence to an end. The reason? Well, the sun is a star, as you know, and stars have a finite life. Our sun, in one billion years from now, for instance, will be 10% more luminous. This alone will trigger a near total evaporation of the Earth's oceans and an end to what we call the carbon cycle, the very bedrock of life as we know it. In four billion years from now, the surface of the earth will be heated by an expanding sun to temperatures that can melt solid ground. Of course, by this time, all life on earth will be extinct. And finally, in a grand but slow finale, in about seven and a half billion years from now, the sun having entered what is called its red giant phase will have expanded enough to fully absorb the earth. That's right, the earth will become a part of the sun. There will be no life and no earth left. All indications overwhelmingly suggest that humanity is unlikely to be around to see the looming end at the hands of our solar master. But that's the celestial beauty and cycle of life, the circle of existence, and hopefully a reminder that all things must come to an end. Sometimes at the hands of that which we should be most thankful for. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when that are politics. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters, it's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.